Oh, sorry, what's happening? It's Bro here. Oh, I'm like, yeah, well, the situation is this, folks. I've been waiting on Bro for like years and years, and he just hasn't appeared. Oh, actually, what's this? Oh, just so I speak, here he appears right behind me there. You must have a snooze there. God. Oh, he said he was going to be seven minutes late, but he's about, what's that, about three hours late or something? Right, honestly. Right, folks, well, I think we're going to have to change the plan today because the, the roads at the back here are actually really bad. Uh, with the snow so i've just stopped here in the old lay-by bit gonna eat i've got a pie from a spa shop so i'm gonna have a pie with uh my new flask i'm gonna have my a cup of tea with my my new flask so here's today's view i was gonna say it's autumnal but it's not it's very i said i heard you it's more I like it in every video that's winter oh. right, here's my pie man it's absolutely Somebody. disgusting. Is it? Oh, it's oh, just a no. wadge of nothing. Right, folks, so the plan's going to change because I was going to try and go up to Pit Middle Village, the lost village of Pit Middle, but it's a bit further up in the hills there, so it's going to be a bit snowy. Um, so I don't know. What do you think we should do, bro? I don't know. Where should we go? We yeah, well, I've got a map here somewhere. Hang on, I've got a map. But I don't know if it covers. Let's have a look at the, the map selection. See what we've got here. Right. <laughs> Folks, we've arrived by mistake at this place here. I can't remember what it was called now, but we shall find out. My right, folks, we were just talking about this place as we came down the road, and we can't remember where it was, and um, it just seems to disappear. But here it is, we found it anyway. It's uh, West Town Churchyard, an old historical churchyard here in the middle of the uh, sort of Perthshire area between the the main road and the back road so yeah we've had to abandon the back road plan going up towards pit middle because it's just oh, the roads are too you know just icy and everything it's just going to be too much of a, a trauma getting up there anyway so we've, we've come here to look at this west town churchyard okay. so there's a few things to look out for a tree yes a sword hang on right, here, folks a graveyard some sort of stone balance in here. Very good. Right, trying to find the uh, the sword that's meant to be on the lintel here. Sword uh, engraving used on the lintel there. But we can't seem to find it. So unless it's up on the top there, so that's why Bo's got his extendable pole. But he's only got a short pole with him to say. He's not got his long pole with him. No. Mm. I said last time I was here, I managed to climb up into the uh, up into here and have a look. But there's no way I'm doing it today, folks. And look at this, it does look a bit precarious at this angle, doesn't it? The, the bell tower. Look at that. Well, it could go over at any moment. Call the Trumpton Fire Brigade. Oh! Right, folks, well, we're back in Dundee now because the roads were just too, uh, 
too slidey and uh, it was going to freeze over again with it getting so cold now. So I've come here to one of Dundee's hidden uh, sort of secret gem kind of places almost. It's like a stone circle here in the middle of Dundee. Well, just on the, the outskirts of Dundee. Let's go and have a look. So here it is. Balcathro Circle. So Balcathro Stone Circle. My right, bros, bros going live, folks. We're going live on Facebook. Um, yeah, so this is what remains of the circle now. They had to fence it off because of vandalism, obviously. Um, but yeah, a lot of these stones were just dumped here. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't really seem like a stone circle. It's a weird sort of sight to have one, man. But it would have just been an early sort of Pictish uh, site anyway. And none of these trees or none of this would have been here, man. So it would have got good views over to the north and the northwest. Um, so yeah, it's actually marked on the map as a, a, druid, a druidical temple. There's a couple of good stones here though, man. Look, there's a good one there. Look, there's a good, good stone there. There's a few of them lying about. But uh, as I said, a, a few of the farmers dumped some stones here, so it was kind of hard to, to make out which one were the, were the stones that were used in the circle and which ones were just farm, um, farm stones. But some recumbent stones right here. But uh, yeah, it would have been used as a as an early stone circle. Excellent. Very overgrown here though, folks. That's the only thing. Anyway. That <laughs> program is compared to Stonehenge. <laughs> I don't think so. Mercedes here, look. Good week. Folks, I'm not sure if we're going to get in here, but uh, we've come down to this old uh, sort of, um, well, it's just an old sort of like a, an old uh, nursing home, but uh, there was a nun's graveyard just situated inside the building that I remember finding. But um, I don't know if we're going to get in here or not, folks. That's uh, it's another, could be another fail here. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's locked up, man, doesn't it? Eh? It's yeah, it's all locked up, folks. Look, disappointing. Yeah, it's in here. Yeah, it's around the corner, just in there somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Over the wall. Yeah. Good one. Visitors. Oh, we have visitors. Can we get in, please? Yeah. Oh, it's very disappointing. Folks, there is the. Uh... Buddy, who's it by? Folks, we're here. It is the uh, the mural to Billy McKenzie done by Gary Milne art, or Gary Milne and his art. Uh, fantastic. There it is. So I don't know why it's here in Stolz. Well, man, because he, he didn't live here. But um, yeah, it's a great, great tribute to one of Dundee's finest singers, apart from Frankie, obviously. Right, very disappointed today, folks, with today's adventure. But uh, back with the, the fence here. Uh, was it? Did it fall or was it pushed? Who knows, man? Because uh, all it would take him was, because those things are really, really rusted along the, yeah, those, the bottom poles are really rusted. So it was obviously going to go at some point um, and the, the winds obviously just sent on its way. Or, or did somebody come past it and give it a push? Yeah, I wonder. But uh, yeah, so goodness knows what's going to happen with that. Uh, I think Joe, the guy who sings all the time, I think he's, he's going to phone about it. So we should find out what's going to happen with uh, with that. Well, folks, we're back in from today's adventure. Very disappointed that I said there. So here I am having my my cup of tea from the flask, which is still piping hot actually, and uh, chocolate chip muffin that bro bro made me. So this is my picnic today. I'm actually in the kitchen having uh, the picnic. There it is. Thank you. Right. Let's see what these muffins taste like. <laughs> 